Now, new cloth spine, hinge area, flaps still need to be put down over the new cloth. Inside, the inner flap is still free. This is the point we will be introducing the reinforced, that is to say the guarded with our paper, fly leaves. We'll be pasting down, uh, sorry, pasting, and then put it on the book, align the top foredge, uh, the top edge and the foredge, and Prior to doing all this, we're going to score with our nail, just lightly score the inner shoulder edge. That, when we turn it over and prepare to paste, that will give us a clear indication of where to paste. We don't want to paste the surface any more than we have to. However, if you can see the, uh, the uh, scoring we just did with our fingernail on the other side, we'll be coming in just, just a hair inside that. That's so that when the book is open, this uh, flyleaf will not tend to go with the board. It will stay with the tax block. If you were to only paste this area right here, when you open the uh, finished book, this would tend to go with the board and pop away from the actual hinge, which is a bad thing. You want the flyleaf to stay. This curl, by the way, is quite natural with this sort of paper. Uh, most of that will go away once the book is pressed in the final stage. Uh, so you open the book, you want the fly leaves to stay with the text block. Uh, how do we know this, by the way, is on the front and not the back? Well, the easiest way is look at the pattern if you can see it. Look at the pattern of the marbling, and it's carried on with the flyleaf. Face down the flyleaf. The opposite happens on the back. It goes the other way. So there's no doubt in our mind. If there's, if there is any, sorry, if there is not any easy way of determining front to back, simply mark uh, at some early stage. Mark someplace where it won't be seen in the final analysis. Mark a front, uh, an F for front, uh, B for back. And then at this point there will be no uh, doubt in your mind which is which. Uh, by the way, this also had a somewhat very mildly frayed foredge. The both uh, fly leaves, as a matter of fact, you can't see it, I'm sure, but it's been reinforced with light tissue, so it's almost indiscernible. However, it does give more substance to the slight fraying that occurred earlier and will add to the life of the uh, paper in its uh, second, in its rebirth to the restored volume. So you've uh, placed, uh, you've uh, positioned it, you've marked it, scored it to give you a clear indication where to paste. Now we will need a book under. It's very straightforward. However, we will need uh, something under the cover so that 
we can get more or less a flat surface because we will be using heat and pressure. The main reason we're using uh, heat and pressure, well first of all it's paper and once it's uh, pasted it's going to start to warp and uh, expand. We want to nip that in the bud as, uh, as soon as possible. The other reason is once we position it exactly where we want it, the main advantage of doing it this way, we'll be using our iron to make a square shoulder, right uh, inner shoulder, right here, and then carry on so uh, we'll have a nice clean edge when we open the book and close it. If you don't do that, one of the main, one of the most common faults in restored books is the inner hinge, the aesthetics of the inner hinge. They're all strong, etc., etc. However, if you do it as in case bindings all at once, etc., when you close the book, you are taking a chance that this doesn't crimp here and look crimped. Every time you open it, It'll be, it's not, uh, it's not uh, a deal breaker, but it's less than perfect. To wind up with a nice clean square edge here is ideal. The only way I know of to do that every time is to do it this way. So we do, we reassemble piecemeal, attach the boards first, put the spine on, uh, then uh, attach the restored uh, fly leaves uh, and then paste everything down, the flaps back down. That is going to be your best bet to achieving a nice clean look to the book when it's open. And also functionality, uh, a nice clean hinge means this is going to move freely back and forth and open cleanly. So, we need to glue this, we'll set this aside momentarily. Fresh piece of scrap paper, down, piece of, excuse the expression, guard scrap paper. Again, if you can see, there is the fold of the uh, the score mark we made with our nail, so we're coming just in from that, just a, oh, not even a quarter inch, so that this page gets attached to the text block directly. When you open it, this will stay with the text block and not with the cover when you first open it. So we position it right about there, take some white glue, a little squirt, not much. Our brush is fresh and charged with a little wheat flour paste. You want mostly white glue here because you're going after longevity and strength. And you also want a little wheat flour paste to make sure everything flues flows smoothly and gives you all the set time you need. Get rid of everything, bring your book back with the brace. Now, we're, we have already determined this is the front. First concern is the top edge. Second concern is the fore edge. Make sure everything's neat and tidy. Then, when we have that positioned, we lift the flap, press this down just so it's not flopping around. Then, with our nail, we start working it along that shoulder. I think you can see that fairly well. Sure, this is down. You're going to have crinkles, of course, but nobody's ever going to see it because it'll be covered by the flap. So right now, you want to make.
make sure that's nice and neat and juxtaposed exactly where you want it on the text block. Now, once that's done, take your resist paper, uh, sorry, your resist film, just for the sake of protecting your iron, place it over there. You won't be able to see this very clearly. I'll turn it a little for your benefit. First thing you do is bracing the edge of the board. You want to apply pressure directly to the shoulder. Try to square it up as best you can. Don't take a lot of time doing it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want to set the glue at that edge. That is critical. Try to achieve a 45 degree angle to the text block. Make a nice, clean shoulder, like so. Now, immediately lift the flap gently and start applying pressure to the paper, like so. The paper itself is not going to take a long time to set, uh, the adhesive on the paper that is. That should be fine. Now go back and work that shoulder again. We'll be taking this resist film out momentarily. This looks like a mess right now, but believe me, the effect is worth the effort. You see how I grasp the board? This is direct pressure between the iron and the edge of the board. I'm going after as clean a shoulder inner uh, hinge as I can get. There you go. Now, let's see what we have here. That's not looking too bad at all. Now we'll try it without the resist paper just to make sure everything's where it should be and more or less established. Looks good. This is curling uh, unduly, but that's all right. That uh, is just because of the heat and uh, humidity right now in the uh, in the atmosphere due to what we're doing. I hope you can see that. It's very, actually, the, the, once you understand the theory, it's not that big a deal. There you go. Alright. That's a reasonably clean inner hinge. That's going to open and shut very neatly.